Hey guys, Arrow and I here. Uh, at the end of my All Hell Breaks Loose Part 2 review, I said I was going to do a list of my top five best and my top five worst episodes for each season. So we're going all the way back to season one. And when I say worst, I, I again, I say that the least good ones. We're not getting into worst territory. We're not going to get into worst territory until season six, season seven. Um, but Obviously that's a long ways. So we're starting off with the top five worst art, not good. I could have said not the best, but not really that great, but not very memorable, but that's obviously too long of a title. So we're gonna count down from five to one, one actually being pretty much the not greatest episode of this entire season. And then the other one's kind of being a mixture. It's, it's not a definitive list when it is, that will most likely be for the best ones. So we're gonna start with the worst. So starting off with number five is Salve. Salvation. Salvation is the preseason finale to season one, and the reason why it's on the list is one, it's a preseason finale, so you obviously you've got to build up. It starts off with an interesting idea that Meg is killing off uh, members of the, the supernatural, or the, the Winchester clan. Not family members, but people they know. Like Pastor Jim gets killed when he goes for a knife instead of a gun. John is tasked with having to go and make a deal with the cult to, and Meg will stop killing people. He's obviously gonna go, but he's not gonna give them the gun. He's giving the task of the Yellow Eyes, killing Yellow Eyes, to the boys. And then it kind of just moves through the middle. There's a little bit of intrigue with John almost getting kidnapped, um, then going into the house uh, and almost killing Yellow Eyes, which saving that family. But watching my review of it, I even look like I'm kind of like, eh, I'm kind of deflated. It's not as interesting as a preseason finale as it should be. Like there's been some preseason finale episodes that have always been kind of building into like for instance once we get into season three season three has one of the best preseason finale episodes to see it kind of just be so lackluster it's still like an okay episode i gave the episode a four out of seven but in terms of what its purpose was it didn't really build you up to it so that's why salvation is number five for me number four is one that i'm kind of surprised with because when i started re-watching the series i was thinking that this was gonna be one of my better episodes, but actually number four is Home. Home kinda sucks because of its content and just how good I remember this episode being and re-watching it and realizing just kind of how mediocre it is. Obviously it has the psychic lady who was a really great character even though she's not written really well now and then she was brought back because Dab likes to bring characters back and then unceremoniously killed her. The episode has a memorable idea of them going back to their old home. They have this kind of relationship with the family and we start to see people being killed off by appliances and that kind of also leads into why the episode is just so lackluster because Sam Winchester is almost killed by a cord from a fan. He's almost killed by a utility. It's horrendous because they try to make it they try to make it scary, but it looks so stupid. The psychic lady says, spirits are gone now, we've done it. Sam's like, hmm, I think something's off. You have a bona fide psychic and Sam who doesn't really know much about his powers and he's the one who's in the right? Like I said, this lady was a great character. She just was terribly written this episode. And then also there's the kind of inexplicable part about their mom being a ghost and taking down whatever the spirit was that was in the house, even though you don't know what the spirit was. And then on top of that, they never mention her as a spirit when she returned in season 13, or sorry, 12. Events that happened after home, particularly with the mom's return as well as the psychic character, both kind of even more to de delegitimize this episode for me. If I were going off of just the episode itself, maybe not so much, but considering how boned over those two got, it's the reason why it's number four for me. Number three is Route 666. This one's kind of a bit of a, mm, we're getting into the only three episodes that I actually gave threes for this season. And Route 666 is half really good, half really stupid. The first half being the idea of taking on race, which was really well done by this show. They had uh, a very commendable way of doing it. They didn't really make it political. They just, yeah, there was racism. And it was fucking horrible. And then the mom, who has that very, very dramatic recounting of the story, her acting goes back and forth between being pretty decent to complete ham. The relationship between Casey and Dean is kind of there. It's a short flame. It's a very 
uninteresting character. It's funny enough, actually, though, thinking about it, that Dean has never really had that many memorable relationships in this show. The one that I remember the most is the redheaded angel who looked like Jessica Chastain in season four or five. And then also the monster, the, the haunted truck. It looks cool, but they reuse shots several times when it's outside the house and revving. Uh, obviously they don't have the money for it to come into the house, but it just looks so not threatening when it's just coming up to the wall. Like, rum, 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 it makes me laugh now watching it. It's more of a disappointing episode rather than a bad episode. It has a very, very important topic to talk about. And for the most part, it addresses it pretty respectfully. It's the other elements of the episode that just don't hold up as well, and that's why it's number three for me. Now we're actually getting into the really actual bad episodes, I would say. Bugs. I don't mind bugs, but I hate to say that it actually is one of the weakest episodes of this season. The episode itself actually plays out pretty semi-okay. Like, it's going on around like a four with a drama between the family that's of the realtor, the son who's like, hey, there's some really weird shit going on, dad. Why aren't you listening to me? The dad who's disrespecting him. And then obviously it's a harken back to the relationship between Sam and John and Dean and John. And that part's great. But then when the climax happens, it's just a big bucket of stupid. The idea that they're fighting off bugs for what would have been like properly like eight hours, uh, but it all happens in a matter of five minutes. It, it's not a very well written episode in terms of, they could, probably could have brought the bug part in about like halfway through, maybe even a qu quarter of the way into the episode, kind of build the relationship of the father and the son as the drama is happening, watching them kind of do this. But again, then they would have been spraying fire repellent shit at weirder things. I think yeah, they could have done is they could have had episodes be them boarding off different parts of the house, trying to figure out ways to stop the bugs from coming in, falling back further and further and further into the house. And that could have been a majority of the episode, but instead that all happens in like the last 10 minutes and it just comes off as hokey. Bugs is not the worst episode of this season, however. It is the second worst though. And my number one worst episode was another one that I really, really enjoyed originally when I first watched the show, but now it's just corny. It's Hookman. I'm actually kind of surprised that this episode sucks as much as it does. Like, it has a really cool urban legend that it's using. However, as some of you pointed out in the comments, it actually doesn't fit well with what it's talking about. It actually hinders the episode because of how mainstream that urban legend is and how point by point by point they go through. There's almost no tension in the episode. There is some cool effects with the hook, especially when it's clawing invisibly against the wall in the church. Another thing to the girl that's a part of the episode, this sort of relationship Sam has, she's not good. There's not that much drama going on that involves the brothers to a point where some of the writing in this episode is just silly. Like Sam clearly outside her house stalking her and she's totally okay with that. I understood the idea of rebellious teens and hypocritical father figures, bringing that back to the Winchester family. But everything kind of comes off as like half-baked or unresolved or just not full commitment. And the horror isn't as good as it should be the relationship with the girl isn't as good as it should be and it's just so so predictable the most interesting part when he claws against the wall and that's it that's the best part of the whole episode a special effect is better than an entire episode's worth of story, character, and horror. That's why it's number one for the worst episode of season one. Anyways guys, that is my list. I just had a lot of enthusiasm to pound out a bunch of videos. I have all these videos that I did while I was on the island. I wanted to get this done, so I have a lot of content for you guys when I come home. Anyways, tell me in the comments below what you thought were the worst five episodes of season one, and I'll be bringing you the top five best episodes of season one very soon. And Arrow, Arrow you're on the keyboard now. Oh, 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 oh. We'll see, uh, you guys will be seeing that one very soon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. We're going to be heading on to season three very soon, so keep tuned in for that if I haven't already started it. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. See you guys next time. Oh, you're a cutie. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. 
but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.